Hey, what's going on, everybody? This is Pastor Ben Lem here. We have a very special show right now with myself, the Revelator Cat Kerr, and Miss Prophet Sherelle Barrera. It's going to be an awesome broadcast. We're going to talk about some things of what God's doing, not just in America, although we will talk about that, but we're going to talk about what is God doing in the Pacific Northwest. A lot of people call it the graveyard of churches, but I want to tell you, it's no longer a graveyard, but it's a vineyard. It's a vineyard of his glory. God's doing something new there. I'm so excited. Uh, listen, I want you to share. Okay, share, 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 because of course, when different anointings come together, such as this broadcast, something supernatural is going to happen. I believe there's a word and an impartation for you, people of God. So I want you to share this broadcast. I want you to comment where are you watching from, because you need this touch wherever state, city, country you're watching from. Amen. So let us know where you're watching from. Uh, it's my honor to host today's show, The Glory Invasion Special on Facebook. Of course, myself and Prophet Sherelle Barrera and the Revelator, Kat Kerr. Uh, I want to welcome Prophet Sherelle Barrera. Uh, I know we'll go over to Kat Kerr. Welcome, Sherelle. How are you doing? I'm great. I'm excited. I'm feeling the fire. I'm ready for the heavens to be ripped open. <laughs> Come on. Amen. Absolutely. And, uh, you know, uh, we love you. We're going to be with you this weekend. And so we're going to talk about this conference, the Washington Glory Invasion, very soon. So I'm so glad you're here on the show. And and Miss Kat Kerr, no introductions needed. The one and only. How are you doing, ma'am? Welcome, welcome. I'm in a constant state of excitement right now. That's what I'm doing. <laughs> I'm, I'm feeling exactly what they're feeling in heaven. They're excited about right now and what God's doing right now uh, will touch and change this world for the next 100 years. You know, I'm just going to throw it out there because that's what the Father does with me. I can just tell you this is very key, very important. A lot of people maybe get uh, trapped uh, on the side about, you know, maybe violence or this going on. But I can tell you, God's got his plan and he's going to work it. And it's going to be amazing. And I just want to add this about the Northwest. Did you not know the places that are the most significant to God are the ones that are attacked the most by the enemy? And that's why Satan wants to keep that area dry because it is like a wellspring. Uh, not just a well, but a wellspring. And I'm telling you, God is going to explode from that area and come from that very corner of uh, this country and flood all over the place. So just stay excited, everybody, and don't miss it. Don't miss this event that's going to happen. Wow, that's powerful because, uh, you know, you're talking about wellsprings. And really, I want to talk right now about the wellsprings of revival. I believe we are in a season where God is redigging or digging up the old wells like in the days of isaac yeah and he's also digging up new wells the old wells and the new wells and of course right now we're in the month of february it's it's my favorite uh month of the year why because it's my birthday month uh <laughs> so welcome to february everybody but of course in this month uh catherine coleman passed uh billy graham passed john paul jackson Bob Jones and Paul Kane. So I really feel like Kat and Sherelle, this, this season, God wants us to dig up the old wells and the new wells of revival in America because we're in a new season. Now, I, I, I want to ask you, Miss Kat, what do you think about that word and what God's doing in digging up the old wells and the new wells right now? Well, I do know this, that he's definitely in a generational thing right now which means the generations of the past and everything that they did and made as a foundation is going to explode in this in the generations of this uh, time on the earth and those who are alive on the earth. It's going to really uh, it's going to accelerate everybody forward and upward. And so, yes, I definitely agree with that. The things that the people lay down their lives for. And I love it that in the month of love, you know, God took all those mighty men and women home. And I actually knew Bob Jones would go home. The father told me the first of February, I'm taking Bob home on the 14th. And he said, it's going to open up whole new portals, whole new gates all over this nation. And he said, so everybody needs to be excited. And, you know, but that was several years ago. But that doesn't matter. God builds on things. He knew everything that would happen, and yet he's still going to do everything he wants. But this is what we'll have at the end. We will have great victory 
and great celebration. Come well, on. Absolutely. And I'm just being reminded, Miss Katz, of, of, again, Bob Jones' prophetic word. When the Kansas City Chiefs win the Super Bowl, it will be a sign of world revival of the end times billion soul harvest. And of course, last year, the Kansas City Chiefs won after a long hiatus. And it was a sign, of course, the palindrome, you know, uh, uh, you know uh, with the dates and uh, the coach and all of that. But right now, the Kansas City Chiefs are in the Super Bowl another time for the second consecutive year in a row. Awesome. <laughs> and I feel like, again, this is a double-double sign, double for your trouble sign, that God is raising up the apostolic chiefs in America right now. Yeah. And, uh, you know, and again, I just love what you said, Miss Kat, that the mantle of the prophetic and of love of Bob Jones and of the Kansas City prophets, it's really coming down right now so strong. Yeah. Um, wow, my gosh. And I, I just want you... Miss Kat, if you could just pray into that right now in this moment, because February is a month of love, like you said, but it's a month of mantles and of a prophetic glory invasion. Can you just pray and into that you know, one, one thing, one more second. Um, the double thing totally goes into all of this because God started talking to me about the d double uh, divine decade, divine decade, uh, and there's a double. There's the 20, 20 to 30 and the 30 to 40. This is going to stretch that long in this, in this, on this earth, a lot here in America. But God, I thank you, Father, for having your will, your way this day that we're going to just skyrocket in this month of February, God, that people will see your love in our lives. But also the true prophetic, Father, those with the true prophetic word, God, will step forward. They may some be unknown, some known, but I know this is your time in the earth for, for people to know you and to hear your word, your true word, which will excite people. It will not be doom and gloom and all. It's going to be your power, your love, your way in this earth. And so, Father, I thank you for that. And we come against anything of the enemy that would interfere or stop or halt or delay any of that. In Jesus' name, we say no more. We command the host of heaven to go ahead and pull down every stronghold of Satan, trying to stop anything in this event, keeping anyone from being a part of it. We declare your power be seen and heard in this earth through the mouth of your prophets, God. We thank you for the mantles to be awakened, God, and those even carrying them to be brought alive in this time. I thank you. This is your time on the earth, and we agree with your plan. Wow. Amen and amen. Absolutely. Amen. I, I feel like right now, because of where our conversation's going, I feel like we need to talk about what is God doing in this month of February? What is God going to do in our country and in the nations of the earth? And I just feel such an expectation and an anticipation because February is going to be a mega month of miracles. So let's talk about that right now. And I, I want to uh, pass the mic on the floor to Prophet Sherelle. What do you what do you sense? What do you expect God to do in this month of February in this season right now? Well, it's it just blew my mind that as soon as you guys got on here, you started talking about the wells of revival. I don't know if you guys know about a prophetess named Fuchsia Pickett, but she was a prophetess back here in the 70s, I believe. And she, I was reading some of her book last night, and she was talking about how wellsprings of revival were going to burst up in certain areas of this uh of Washington and this area over here. And so I began to see a vision when I was reading that. And I saw the Lord show me that there's been like coals of revival in the grounds of the earth here. And some people have sown seeds of faith and they've prayed and they've prepared the way. And revival has come up to the surface a couple times, but man put his foot on the coals. Man tried to stop the move of the Holy Spirit. And what the Lord is saying to me about these next few months is that we are going to be led by the Spirit. The Spirit is going to lead us. Man is no longer going to lead the Spirit. And it's I'm, I'm excited. I just feel like the Holy Spirit, what the Lord showed me in 2017, he told me that the Holy Spirit will be given a platform. 
And that's what we're seeing in this season. A place that is cultivating revival by letting the Holy Spirit lead. Amen. And, you know, just to, uh, just to piggyback on that, you know, really the next three months, I, I want you to hear these words. Because the next three months, there's going to be monumental momentum that's going to take place. From now to Passover, I, I wish somebody heard me today. From today, February 1, to Passover, which is, of course, in the middle of April. For the next three months, there's going to be mega momentum, monumental momentum that's going to shift you into harvest and into miracles. So there's going to be a lot of setup for financial miracles, miracles in your business, and even salvation in your family. But from now to Passover, begin to prepare because there's going to be mega setups for your divine breakthrough. Now, before I pass the mic over uh, to the woman of God, Kat Kerr, I just want to read the scripture. Because we're talking about wells. Because I believe God is springing up wells right now in the spirit. Genesis 26, 18. Isaac reopened. Someone say reopened, which means it was closed, but he opened up again. Isaac reopened the wells that had been dug up in the time of his father, Abraham. Which the Philistines, ding, 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 keyword Philistines, which are enemy opposing giants, the giants of the land, the giants of welfare, of poverty, of socialism, the giants of human trafficking, of the elitists. The Philistines had stopped the wells after Abraham died. And so right now, these giants of the land in 2020 are trying to stop the wells or stop the flow of your finances, stop the flow of the Holy Spirit, stop the flow of revival. But God wants to anoint you to dig up and open up again what has been closed by these Philistines, these opposing giants. And God's going to be right. doing it from today, February 1st, all the way to Passover. So you watch. God's about to open up. Miss Kat, what are your thoughts or what do you want to say to the people right now? I I have to say exactly what the Father's continually saying to me. To don't we don't lose that um that spirit of celebration. And maybe you don't know this people, but celebrating in heaven is mainly what they do. It's one of the ways they worship God. It's one of the ways they are, are thankful and grateful to him for all the things that they that he did for us while we were on the earth and also once they get to heaven. And so they are celebrating in heaven already. And I do know another prophet, uh, Hank Kuhneman, who always talks about January, February, and March that leads into April. And he is almost in line with what you're saying. He says that January will begin to bring justice. February will be all the fireworks of the beginning of everything happening and then march into the end of the march will be great celebration and miraculous so uh, that's what he has heard from god i can tell you that i continually hear that justice is already beginning to be served and all the stuff that's going on and just let me add what the father just shared with me yesterday about all the stuff going on we know that those who are now sitting in seats of authority are illegitimate. That's what the father says. It's illegitimate power. In other words, not power given in the natural, not power given in the spirit. You know, the, whoever is the head of a government, it says that when the righteous are in power, the people rejoice. But when it's the wicked and the evil are, that, that great sadness comes upon them. Well, I need to remind everybody that right now, those who are in authority don't have power, not real power, which will be shown and proven when that great victory comes and God will shift back what his intentions always were. And the truth is this, the one who is in true authority, even right now, yeah, which is Trump, he is actually a president. He did win the election and he is the one in authority, still welcoming God, still having plans. By the way, he's still getting ready to work plans. I just have to let you all know that. And it's beginning to be no secret that that's happening. So there's a lot of people right now in DC, very afraid, Demons are leaving D.C. like crazy. I mean, they're just leaving, racing out of there. And this is what God said. That is because it's illegitimate power. So those who are righteous right now, 
they are still in power. They're the ones in power. And what he says, what our president says, the true president says, is what will affect this, co this country, not just in the natural, but in the spirit realm. This is what the Father says. The wicked and evil trying to rule, they have no power, no true power, so they have no right, no portals open to them to allow evil to flood this country like people think is happening. I'm sorry, but the devil isn't going to be taking over because there's no true portal or opening to hell for that to happen. That is shut. Yeah. So you should be rejoicing, everybody, because this is going to be an accelerated thing that begins to happen with the revival going into the habitation of God in this in this country and all over the world, actually. So these are celebrated times. These are victorious times. These are not times to be crushed and to be sad and to have fear in you. About the only thing the devil's getting away with is bringing fear, all those regulations and all those laws being made illegally, illegitimately will not stand. Yes. So this is why you should be celebrating because we will have the ability to move unhindered all over Amen. the country as God moves and does the victory thing. And you will see it with your eyes. Everybody will see it with their eyes. This is why it's so important to come to these events right now to get filled up, to get excited, to begin to make plans with God himself about what your part will be in this. So this is a strategic event. You don't want to miss this, this event because this is God's time to bring in that double decade, the divine decades uh, back to back in this, in this country here. And it is going to be so powerful. Your life won't be the same. We don't want it to go back exactly the way it was. We want it to be greater, more powerful in God, that we will be more accelerated forward and the love will flow in this country, especially between the body of Christ. That's what's really needed first. And I declare that that love will be released because the other can't be. Hell can't be released right now, people. If you can see in the spirit realm, if you were a seer, you would understand it's leaving. <laughs> Hell is leaving. And so that leaves those who want to be in power, powerless. They won't have the effects. They won't have that enticement. They won't have that... Uh, the captivation of hell and evil, although it's already in them, it will not be released or loose throughout this land because there's been no portals open because the one in true authority is not allowing it. Come on, that's so but good. Of, and of course, the wells are actually portals because wells they are. And uh, I can tell you one more thing. There are these massive angels. Some of the hosts have already been sent to some of these wells and they have these swords, probably they're 15 feet high swords. And they're like standing there like this over them, about to hit them. And we declare something at this event, they will hit these wells, these dry wells, and they will literally be open and they'll shoot <laughs> like spring. So this Jesus. is a specific event planned by God. So this can happen. So don't miss being a part of uh, having those wells open. Kat, can I share something with you really quick? Uh, that's what I was seeing in the spirit when I was beginning to pray and see you coming over to this area. I saw you just taking a stake and driving it into the ground yeah. and it just yeah. broke open this area. And I saw the wells begin to bubble up and the, the springs just begin to spring forth throughout the earth in this area. And it just goes all the way from this side all the way down into the East Coast. And I just believe it's going to start something here in this area that has not been done before. I'm so, we are so excited. We are I'm so excited. excited. <laughs> well, absolutely. The convergence that happens when the right anointings and mantles come That's together. Right. And, yeah. and sometimes uh, you do not receive a breakthrough because there's an element that's missing. But I believe, again, us coming together, especially with Miss Cat, especially with the now anointing of the now word that she carries, something's going to break open in the Pacific Northwest. So listen, people of God, you need to be there at this event. I mean, we're pretty much sold out. I don't know if we can do overflow, open up the doors and have people just sitting outside. We may have to do that, honestly, because we're already sold out. Uh, but, you know, there's going to be something powerful that's going to be released. Yeah. That's going to affect all the regions and states nearby. I guarantee it. I believe witches are going to come to Jesus. Yeah. yeah. People who are in new age are going to be delivered. Okay. Warlocks, Wiccans, people moving in the dark 
and black magic and dark spirits, they're, they're going to uh, feel the tremors of the yeah. web opening up. So it's going to be powerful. Um, you know, uh, again, as we're talking about all this, again, what God is doing in America right now on the earth, what God is doing from now, February, all the way to April Passover, and now specifically for this conference, this event, the Washington Glory Invasion. You know, uh, I'm just reminded of, again, uh, 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 John G. Lake, how he yes. started up the healing wells and the healing rooms in Spokane, Washington. And, you know, there's something supernatural that happens in the Pacific Northwest. And I believe something's going to break with that mantle. Now, Prophet Sherelle, is there something you want to share with us concerning John G. Lake, the healing rooms, and that well of revival that's about to burst open? I just know that we are getting close. We have been seeing more miracles than ever before. Um, in our second service, we had a man come in and walk out of a wheelchair. I mean, when Taylor ran up to me and she was like, mom, there's someone outside in a wheelchair. And I was going, oh my gosh, not a wheelchair on my second service. <laughs> but it was incredible. It's just awesome to be pioneering here what has been in God's heart for so long and I just what I'm seeing is that this explosion that's going to happen no man can keep his foot on it that the Holy Spirit is getting ready to explode in this area I believe we're going to see miracles like never before I believe we're going to see limbs growing out more blind eyes and deaf ears being healed but not only that families being healed. God is calling whole families in this season. He's calling the prodigals home. And I'm so excited to see and be a part of this movement. And it's like God is strategically placing people, the right people together, people that probably really never wanted to do anything like this. I don't know about you, Kat, but I was just minding my own business when the fire of God fell on me in my living room. And he told me to go live on Facebook. And I was like, you want me to do what? <laughs> and so I just believe that God is raising up a remnant in yeah. this season, in this hour. He's the people that he's bringing to the hub here are just so hungry and they're tired of church. They're yeah. tired of religion. They're tired of being put in a box. I took a box last, last week and I ripped it in half and I threw it <laughs> and I stomped on it during the service. <laughs> Cause I just believe, you know, when we're led by the Holy spirit, it's powerful. Yes, it is. We give him the platform and he does it all. It takes the pressure off of us. And we just give him the reins and we say, have your way, Holy Spirit. Mm -hmm. And I believe that's people like John G. Lakes. That's what he did. He probably surrendered his life to the Holy Spirit. And that's why God used him so mightily. And that's what we're seeing right now. And mm -hmm. another thing is, I feel like, you know, um, God's using the most unlikely people. Yeah. <laughs> and people that are not really that well liked. People don't like cats' pink hair. <laughs> people don't like my pink lipstick. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm just being obedient to God and just saying, use me, Lord. I surrender my life to you. And He's going to he's going to do something in this area that we have not seen. We are getting ready to see mm -hmm. something that we have never seen. I mean, what are the odds of the Kansas City Chiefs going to the Super Bowl for a second time? Yeah. That's incredible. Well, well, once again, God God is the God of the miraculous and he's the God of the double and the triple. So I believe in this season, just like Prophet Sherell said, that the unlikely, the no names, the faceless, those yes. that rejected, looked down upon. I mean, President Donald J. Trump took took it by storm, and he came totally from left, uh, from left side, from you know left wing. But uh, again, it's those types of people where there will be a supernatural grace to be an apostolic chief, like the Kansas City Chiefs. God's raising up apostolic chiefs, prophetic warriors in the season who carry the now word of God and who walk in signs and wonders. Yeah. Now, 
uh, of course, we're, we're talking about this event. Uh, you know, we're all going to be together literally in a few days. I know. Hi, <laughs> cities. Washington, it's going to be so powerful. I'm, I'm already there. And, you know, I'm so <laughs> getting with all the angels right now. But, Miss Katz, uh, talk to us. What are you expecting for this event? It's really not even an event, but it's, it's a family celebration. It is. Because it's, I mean, it's actually an encounter. Um, yes. God doesn't always call things events anymore. He calls them encounters. And those who are there or who choose to encounter what he's got, those are the ones who will go away with it to use it, to release it for him. But something else about John G. Lake. Um, I remember one time when I was, I was under attack. That was probably maybe 12, 14 years ago when all that happened. And I was heading to Memphis to um, release Elvis's mantle to be completed because it wasn't completed. And the enemy fought me every way I could. That's how important mantles are. They're so important. And I, I told my husband, knows, throw me in the back of the, the truck. It was a double cab. And Margaret drove all the way there. And we were listening to um, Billy Brim's tapes about it had all those who had passed on before that she had recorded things. And I think John G. Lake's son-in-law was speaking, and he was talking about um, speaking in tongues. Mm. And I'm telling you, it started to get really hot. In the, in the, in the, I'm in feeling the, it. <laughs> It was so hot. And all of a sudden, the Holy Spirit said, I want you to claim it. And so he was speaking under the anointing of the uh, lightning power of God. That was one of the things John G. Lake operated in. It just blasts the enemy out. It's still a part of the fire of God. And God said, claim your healing. And I yelled. I couldn't speak up until that point. I said, I, I claim it. And all of a sudden, fire came through the speaker hit me at the end of my feet, went all the way up my body and drove the sickness out. And I was instantly, wow. and I was on fire. It started getting so hot in the cab. And I know the Holy Spirit was just laughing. He was so celebrating. See, because I, out of an act of obedience, I was just there to do it. And when we got to the event, when we got to the, this place uh, in Memphis, where I was speaking about Elvis and why God called him and anointed him, and was talking about that mantle, then people ran forward to get prayer. The Holy Spirit said, impart the fire, uh, the lightning power of God into them. And I'm like, when did I get that? And he said, you said you received it. And I said, I thought I received healing. He said, oh, you have the mantle of the lightning power of God that John G. Lake operated in. And since that day, I have used that lightning power of God. It destroys works of darkness, no matter what it is about. And I did it so much, so many times. John G. Lake actually showed up at my event. Right. Uh -huh. <laughs> Lake was there. He was seen by several people uh, who were present. And he was just watching me release the lightning power of God. I can tell you what's going to be. The lightning power of God is going to be at that event, people. And it destroys the works of darkness in your life, in cities, mm -hmm. in regions. And I do you know, guess what? He's probably going to show up there. Probably John G. Lake. That's where he's from. Right? <laughs> And so expect the lightning power of God, expect the miraculous to happen. And I do expect things to happen that never happened before. So it's going to be a power, a power encounter of God, of Holy Spirit, of Jesus, of this whole area being least, least released into its destiny to bring the life and the power of God into this country and then throughout the world. So this is a major encounter time on God's timeline. So please don't miss being there because we are all a part of this. When we come into agreement, great power is released. Wow, that is so powerful. That's why, uh, you know, as myself and Prophet Cheryl, we prayed about a, a title for this encounter, you know, uh, the Washington Glory Invasion, because the lightning angels. Uh, of course, the thunders and lightnings from his throne are actually angelic hosts that are being released from his throne. And those angels are going to be invading. And they're, they're already invading right now. Those angels are going to be invading this time. And I believe right now, uh, even from that com event, conference, region, to wherever you're going to be connected and watching from, That's there's right. going to be a new measure of power, a new measure of these mantles, a new measure of healing. Don't be afraid of COVID. Don't be afraid of vaccinations. Don't be afraid of what yeah. the world says. There's a new wave 
of miracle working power and healing as yeah. being released. so we're going to tap into something it's going to be incredible i can't wait to just celebrate the lord and and just to party with heaven with all together it's going to be incredible um now uh of course right now uh as, as we're about to bring this broadcast to a close but uh we're, we want to pray for you people of god we, we're going to pray for you in, in a in a couple of minutes but before we close uh again this event is already sold out but we may have some special tickets for you or how about this uh we are going to be broadcasting uh, live the whole event but we want you to email us for that information because right now uh, you know our team we're working on some of these things because suddenly things are just being more clear but if you are interested uh in uh you know watching the private broadcast and uh you know being a part of this event we want you to email us right now at hello at benlandglobal.com and I'm not sure, Dolores, if you can just put put that up right now, post that up at hello at benlimglobal.com. We want you to email us if you're interested in the private broadcast, if you're interested in possibly getting some special seats for this event, even though it's sold out, we can try to work something out. But if you're interested in coming, it's happening this weekend. Come on, from February uh, February 4th to the 7th, all right? It's going to be four days of incredible glory, encounters, signs, and wonders. February 4th to the 7th. And uh, uh, I hope some of our team is just typing it up right now at hello at benlimglobal.com. Hello at benlimglobal.com. You email us, and we're going to get in touch with you, and it's going to be incredible. Now, uh, Miss Kat, do you have any last words uh, before we just close out in prayer right now, just concerning February to April, this event, what God's doing in America and the nations of the earth? I just know that, you know, spring, <clears throat> spring is coming. Even right now, although it's winter, spring is coming. And, you know, it says that behold, he'll do a new thing and it will spring forth. I love that scripture. Wow. And this is going to be one of those encounters, one of those times that God actually does do a new thing. And that's why we've all been feeling that. And I know I feel I feel what y'all are feeling, Ben. And I feel what you're feeling, that God is going to do some new things never done before. And it's going to be one of those suddenlies. It is a suddenly. And it will spring forth and it will happen as we're all together. And yes, and I when I look like I look at I'm at this camera right now. I'm not just seeing a camera. I see people in the world. I see masses of people so hungry, drawing that anointing that is in me. I can feel it actually leaving me now, even though this is a like, you know, a recording. Wow. Uh, I just already know that God's going to do something powerful. And I love that God will start in some of the most unexpected places because that's just who he is. He'll use the things that have been abandoned or overlooked or stopped or delayed or halted. There will be no more delay in these days. No more delay. God's going to move forward. He's going to move quickly. And I tell people, make sure you're on the right train, right? Make sure you're going in the right direction. If you got off, get back on. Don't give up. Don't step back. This is a season to go forward. And great things are going to be happening throughout now, even into spring. I cannot wait to see what God is going to do. Praise God. Amen. Wow. Uh, Prophet Cheryl, any last words before we just close in prayer today? As Kat was just talking, uh, the Lord reminded me of an encounter I had last month. I was down in my living room worshiping on my knees and I had my eyes closed and I could see the biggest angel I've ever seen in the spirit. His wings were stretched from each side of my living room. And right at that moment, it hit my spirit and I just knew that it was the angel of awakening and revival. And he said one thing to me. He said, it is time. Mm -hmm. And as Kat was speaking, I just kept hearing that over and over. It is time. It 
is the time. And we are standing on this. We are believing it. And we are going to see it come to fruition in this season. Whew. My gosh, I just I just see and feel in the spirit where there's such a strong unity right now and where hands are being held together in agreement. Yes. And uh, there's such a strong witness of agreement right now with heaven and with the saints. I just feel it so strong. But people of God, we are agreeing, believing for your miracle and for your breakthrough. This is going to be the greatest year and the greatest season of your life, people yeah. of God. Now, uh, once again, uh, we want to invite you, okay? I know it's sold out, but all of you watching now on the replay, if you want to be part of the private broadcast this weekend or come in person, you email us at hello at benlimglobal.com. Hello at benlimglobal.com. And we will send you the link and the information. It's going to be an incredible time. Miss Katz, can you just pray for us as we close this broadcast today? Yeah, um... Father, I just pray for all, Father, who will watch this um, this promo here, God. I pray that their eyes be open, their understanding be open, God, to the time that it is. This is your time to do your will, your way. And, of course, you always want the greatness of God in our lives. You want people to be whole, to live in divine health, God to prosper in every way because their souls are going to prosper. I declare the souls of the people in this country, they will shift to know you, to desire you, God, to dump the garbage, to dump the darkness, and go forward in the destiny that you have for them. And I just impart right now the lightning power of God to go and pierce everybody, to bring hope and joy and celebration and new life into them, God, that it's not over, it's just beginning in this powerful time in the earth. Be a part of what God is doing. If you've never done it before, step out, trust him, believe him. Ooh. You will always be glad you did. In Jesus' name, amen. Come on, hallelujah. I want where are hallelujah. you? I want you to shout. Come on. Ho, oh, hallelujah. Woo! Hallelujah. You know, the Bible says that he roars like billows. You know, deep calls out into deep like the roaring of the billows and the deep things are being manifested. Prophet Sherelle Barrera, thanks for coming on our show today. And uh, Miss Kat Kerr, the one and only revelator, God bless you. I can't wait to party with you both together <laughs> this weekend. It's going to be an incredible time. It's going to be the best season of your life people are going yeah. you watching i'm telling you you comment below amen if you receive that and you believe it you comment amen amen yeah. i receive it. and once again if you want to be part of the broadcast and if you want to be part of this event you email us at hello at benlimglobal.com and we will do our best to help you be there or to be on the broadcast god bless you it's pastor ben Lim with the washington glory special Make sure you like, subscribe, comment, follow, and thank you. We appreciate you. Till this weekend and next time. See you later.